What's up team? We have an issue. See this camera right here? It's got an awesome video on it. However, I am not in the city and I do not have the device that takes the memory card and makes the video go from the memory card onto my computer so I can edit and export. And it is seven o'clock and I am definitely not gonna not upload. So we're gonna, we're just gonna roll with this. What I, what I talked about was transitions. Um, because on Monday, I'm gonna shut this because I have a weird feeling that like if someone's listening outside, the perception of that random person clouds my thought process. I'm a weird dude. Um, on Monday, on Tuesday, begins phasing me out from being Gary's trainer and phasing in Jordan. Um, for the month of June, we're both going to be working and then starting early July, I am done and moving out on my own. And I mean, as you guys know, we've talked about this, where am I going to live next? Blah, blah, blah. Um, but super, super raw, super honest. I'm second guessing my decision not to extend another year. Like <laughs> offer was on the table and I turned it down on account of um, I want freedom and I want to take those several hours a day and go execute against my vision. And I'm scared that I can't do that. And, and like, I know a few of you are going to be super nice and be like, yes, you can, Mike, you're so great in the comments. And I love you, but, um, it's just the truth. It's, it's the reality of the situation is that in any transition, you can accelerate or you can coast, you can hit the hole and go, or you can slow down and get tackled. Like there, there's a chance that yes, I use those extra few hours and I execute against my goals. I spend 12 minutes every single day rolling my pec minor and my upper trap and my sub scap and make sure that I don't get hurt so I can continue to progress on getting stronger. And when I get stronger and my diet's on point, when I'm using my extra time to make sure I get seven hours of sleep, my fitness life is dialed in, which dials in my entire life, right? I don't do that for the marginal improvement in my physique. My physique is whatever. I'm fine with it. It's when I'm dialed there, I'm dialed everywhere. Um, it's using the extra time to not miss upload days. It's, it's writing more content. It's putting more out there. It's reaching more people. It's answering more emails. It's answering my emails more in depth. It's answering more snaps. It's doing the stuff I want to do because we all know, like, if you sit and think for a little bit, what do I want my life to look like? There are steps to get there and they're not super confusing, but it's executing those steps consistently and, uh, and not taking the exits off the narrow road, like those distractions. And I can see those distractions, like having a 6 a.m. on the Upper East Side where I spend an hour with a dude who like hanging out with him is basically like doing a line of blow. Like literally it's just like an injection of positivity and optimism and hype every single day for two years. Like taking that out, I'm afraid of what's gonna happen. Um, I'm afraid of the flexibility in my schedule, of the lack of structure. So that's where my head's at. And transi like transitions are cool. I love transitions. Like when I, um, when I, what was a transition I really liked? When I went from high school being like, kind of like uncoordinated, like hard worker, which really just meant you weren't very athletic, but you barely made the team. Like when I, when I went from that and I went to college for one year and I came back from college to work at the pool with like a new group of people in a different city next to mine who didn't know me and I could rebrand myself. Like that was big. I came back and like, like demonstrated these qualities of being the person I wanted to be rather than the person I'd previously been. And like, I became that new person. And like in any transition, when you graduate school, when you start a new job, when like there are so many opportunities to seize that and to accelerate through that transition hole and, um, and align your behavior with who you want to be. And this is just another opportunity, but I would be lying if I said like in the last little bit, I haven't been a little bit stressed and a little overwhelmed and like unsure of what's going to happen. Now, like if I had to put money on the situation, I'd bet on myself. I think I'm going to execute, but like, I think that second guessing and that balance, like keeps me grounded. Um, 
So that's that's where my head's at. I like transitions. They're cool. This one coming up. Try and crush it. The other thing I talked about in that video was swearing. I said the F word a whole bunch of times. And then after saying it a whole bunch of times, I was like, that wasn't really necessary. And part of the reason that I curse in my writing and in, in my content, the reason I curse in life is just because it, I kind of do. But the reason I curse in my, in my content is partly because I'm so frustrated with what's primarily a, a generational thing, but anyone who's against curse words and is self-righteous about it and is illogical about it and won't hear out arguments um, f like for them. And so I think I've kind of come a little too, and like I've, I've phased it out of my writing. Like I don't really say fuck unless I, like it really, really makes a sentence drastically different and better and, and like it's needed for effect. Um, but uh, there have been a few instances, people snap me watching vlogs on TV, like because it's so easy to watch YouTube on the TV. And like I see kids and I see like families watching them and it's just like, I've also gotten texts like, bro, I want to watch with my eight-year-old. Like, you say so much good stuff, but, like, you know, the wife doesn't allow swearing or whatever it is. Like, um, so that's something I'm considering, and that's what I talked about in the video that you're just never going to see because I don't have that piece of technology to take the memory card and make it real. Um, hope everyone's having an awesome, awesome, awesome Memorial Day weekend. Have a great Saturday night or whenever you watch this. I'll see you tomorrow. It's too bright. I think I got it. I think I got it. <laughs>